In this video, we're going to have a look at how to create some logos or trace some logos. Uh, and to make these, we're going to place them in a worksheet. So we're not going to put them directly onto our title block, onto our master layout. We're going to create them separate as a reference drawing. So the first thing we'll need to do is write new independent worksheet. And we can call this one Facebook. Now I've just um, downloaded some logos just so we can use as a bit of a reference. I'm not going to worry about scale, I'm just going to do it at the scale it is. It's at 1 to 100, it's a bit odd, I might just change that to 1 to 1. Generally I want all my worksheets to be at 1 to 1. That's very big now, so we might also just choose to resize that to 1%. So let's trace. We see that this is a, a JPEG, uh, so it's quite pixelated. Um, if, we're, if we wanted to suggest that we have a Facebook account and uh, we wanted people to check out our Facebook account for a business purpose, then we might want to have a Facebook logo on our um, on our title block. I have no idea what's the legal requirements with Facebook to do that. I've seen a lot of people doing it, so I'm suggesting I'm guessing, sorry, that it's okay. Um, so yeah, any copyright infringement is not intended. This is just for education purposes only. And of course, the real intention is that you're doing this with your own logo. So let's have a look at how it works. I'm just going to use the box that they've got to define this first, and I'm going to deliberately draw in such a way that I'm planning on deleting some things. So let's start by drawing a box around the outside edge. That worked nicely. Now I could try to draw an arc to get that radius happening, but there's another way that I can work in ArchiCAD as well. I'm just going to measure that roughly. We see that that's got a radius of about 4. So what I'm going to do with my grouping suspended, that's over here, so when that's grey that's suspended which means I can select lines individually. I'm going to select these two lines and I'm going to go fill it and I'm going to choose to have a fillet radius of 4 and that's going to do that for me. Now that looks a little bit small, let's try that again and make it 5. That worked quite well. And so that did a, a filleted edge, so it's took, it took those two straight lines, made them shorter and created an arc between it. Now that's pretty good, it's just a bit slow. Let's see if we could work in a way that would make that even faster. If I was to, instead of drawing this with a line, if I was to, oops, sorry, let's not delete the logo. If I was to draw this with a polyline, then select the polyline and go fill at five, that would do all four sides for me all in one go. So that's, you know, a little bit faster. I could have done that with a fill tool as well, uh, but polyline will work fine for what I'm trying to do at the moment. Now let's draw some lines to outline this F shape. Again, um, I did this with the Apple logo the other day. I'm just guessing. I'm not going to measure because it's a JPEG. I have no idea how this is drawn exactly, whether it's drawn really accurately or not. Um, so yeah, I'm not even going to bother trying to measure or do consistent measurements. Of course, I've talked before about when we're in ArchiCAD, we should always be trying to draw perfectly, and that's not at all what we're doing at the moment, but that's fine. Hopefully no one needs to build anything off your logo. So what am I doing? I'm just tracing, and I'm not worrying about the fact that I'm creating... Um, overlaps. We're going to trim those and delete those later. In this case I'm going to do this arc in a different way. I'm just going to try to connect the straight lines as best as I can. This is really weird. I don't like the slopes. I'm not sure if it's supposed to slope or what, but I'm going to simplify that a bit. And I'm going to reduce that line to there because that just makes sense to me. Um, and then I will again just draw a line to connect those two like that. So, to turn this into an arc, I can draw a line, I can select that line, and then left clicking, I can turn that into an arc, and then I can choose the angle or the radius that I want to add to that. 
Now this looks a little odd. I don't love that. So let's make it a bit bigger. Now that looks a little bit more natural. I'm not following exactly what the um, logo is, but that's cool. It doesn't need to be perfect. Now how do I trim this? Let's look at one way to do that. Press, get rid of my magnet for a second, my quick select. Press command or control. That allows me to bring up my trim. And then that looks like scissors. And that allows me to cut that back short. I can also do the same thing with this one. Again, just turning that into an arc. Now in this case, I can just again use my trim tool. Trim, 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 trim. And because there was lines drawn, what was it doing? It was cutting out between intersecting points. So what we're left with, we're left with an F and we're left with the outside box. Now the only problem is that there's a line at the bottom here. Now when we're using a poly line, a polygon, it works a little bit different to individual lines. So if I try to break this or trim this or split this, what it's going to do is still keep the full shape all around, whereas if I use the split tool, it would break in both orientations. So in that case, using the trim tool is a lot better because it allows to keep it um, closed on the other side, whereas if I use the split tool, it would break it the whole way through. So what am I left with? I'm left with an outline, and now all I want to do is to get a fill. I'm going to go into my pen settings and find a blue. I can't find one that's similar. Uh, I could make it blue to try to match. Uh, what did I do wrong there? change that to solid. So that's pretty close, or I could just do it as black, I don't really mind. Let's just leave it as blue for now. I'm not too worried that it's a different color blue. We could of course create this blue if we wanted to. I'm not going to get into that much detail. That's getting a little bit graphic designer, and that's not what I'm trying to show you what to do at the moment. So now that we've got the outline, what did I do before? I used the magic wand tool. So magic wand is spacebar. If I hold that down and click on the outside of the shape, that's auto-defining this line for me. And we can see that we can draw that in one easy go. Now I can just drag this away. I can turn off the outline. And so now it's just an edge, just like we had with this one. Now I can see that there's a few differences, like that little turn down at the top, but that's fine. I'm happy for my logo to be slightly different. So we can delete the original. We can delete the outlines. We don't need to use those. We're just going to keep that uh, fill that we made of the logo. Now what we're going to do is to put this onto our title block. We're going to save this as a save view, which first means I need to create a folder. Logos. Right click in here. Save current view. None of this really matters. Layer combination scale for this sort of a thing. Press create. Now double click on my master layout and then I'm going to go back to my view map and drag and drop my Facebook logo onto my title block. Now I can go into my settings and into the frame and say fit frame to drawing and so that's just going to snap it down so it's not taking up any extra space. Now when I move this down where would I want this to be? Possibly all the way over here I definitely don't want it to be this big. How big is this? This is 30 millimeters, so I want it to fit into that 30 millimeter space. How could I do this? Let's use the resize option. So we're going to go edit, reshape, resize, and this time I'm going to go define graphically. So click, OK, click the top, click the bottom, and I want the length of that top to bottom to be 30. 3, 0, enter. Now I'll move that into place, move, drag, move that over here, and we've got our Facebook logo. So, of course, we can do that with our own logo. We could trace other logos if we need to use those. Um, it's pretty simple, and the reason why I use that is to show you some different tools, show you the polyline tool, the line tool, the arc tool, the fill tool, and show you a little bit more about how the navigator works.